Hello and welcome to B&D. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the little bell for your notifications. Hello and welcome to part three of my Beagle date. Yes, this I'm sorry, this is a long story. Um, and it's very thirsty work. I've done this non-stop. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be this long, really. Honest, I didn't. But there's more to come. So I got his phone back. Just in recap, just in case you've missed part one and part two. Part one, we went on a date and he took me to dinner. He gave me flowers. Um, he bought me clothes and jewellery. Um, well, he bought us a necklace. It's jewellery. Um, we went for a walk and he held my hand. He kissed me. He held me. And he forgot his phone. And I retrieved his phone. And he was so pleased I retrieved his phone. So pleased he put his arms around me and gave me the biggest, longest kiss that I've ever had, I think. Um, so um, he kissed and it, we're going, um, he's going, I, I'm just so relieved. He says, I had my everything, I cut my credit. So um, he calmed down and I sat close to him. And I'm going, you're going to put your arms around me one way or the other. And it took like two seconds. <laughs> it really did. It took two seconds. He had his arms around me. And I went closer to rest my head on his shoulder. And that didn't get there. Um, he intercepted me before I got my head on his shoulder. And he started to kiss me again. And he kissed me for a long time. <laughs> and his hand was running up and down my back. And that was amazing. Uh, I was immensely relaxed. I was immensely comfortable that I didn't care. <laughs> uh, thing comes is that I can easily say he wouldn't have been a choice because of that he is a lot older than me um he smokes but his kindness is uh, that's far off the chart his kindness um how how he treats me uh, and how he held me and how he kissed me were all immensely gentle and because they were gentle and because he was touching me gently and not being rough or anything with us that I just got turned on by that it was it was that <laughs> the problem comes was that I still wasn't sure if he knew that I was because he didn't seem to care and it was it was the weirdness of that him not caring about kissing me in public putting his arm around me holding my hand in front of everyone and i'm going and i'm constantly thinking does he know and it is in my head going he has to uh, he's been on beagle he's watched my lives he, he must know um but i still had this th thought he bightened. Uh, he doesn't care. He constantly. He calls me sweetheart. He. He. It's. Uh, it's so different. <laughs> um, but I. Just let him. I. I let him run his arm down my back. He squeezed my bum. <laughs> um, he ran his hand up my leg. And I'm wearing, I always wear socks when I have my shoes on because they stop them, the heels and the top from, from rubbing. Um, so um, 
his hand is running up and down my leg and that is uh <laughs> i don't know how to put it you know I, but how i was feeling was immensely relaxed immensely calm um and i liked every second of it <laughs> and yes all of you little little trolls and haters will be going that you you're a disgusting little pervert and whatever you are going to say um to you fine <laughs> i am anything <laughs> I had fun, I enjoyed myself, and he touched me, and I liked it, and I didn't care, I put my hand up the back of his shirt, and I stroked his back, and we just spent ages kissing and holding, and that for my heart is immensely big uh, that if if we say that normally i am this far away from a dark abyss that i am unhappy and miserable that any second i could just go and do something and harm myself because I'm that close to the that close to the edge, um, and the only thing that keeps me away from the edge is people smiling at me and being nice to me. Well, this far is now about this far because I am so um, calm and relaxed and happy, and the affection that I got was more than. There is no words to put for how it affects me. Um, but if you take it, by the time I said, it's getting late, I'm getting tired. I was I was starting to feel really tired. Um, I didn't get my cup of coffee, by the way. Um, he brought me a can of uh, le very cold lemonade, which was just as good. Um, because I was thirsty um, and he just constantly held me and he even even with this he had given me all of that and yet he gave me more he said um, I buy far too much food he said I'm not going to eat the food I get I just buy it and somehow I, it just ends up sitting in the in the thing and I end up giving it away so do you want some food? I said, um, I don't know what you've got. He said, come on, come to the kitchen and we'll see what I've got. And you can have some, you can have some because it will only go to waste. I, I buy stacks of food and I don't actually eat it all. So he gave me food. Not only did he buy me dinner, which was delicious, but um, for the Iceland uh, fish cakes, um greg's um steak bakes he had like three boxes of these um but the greg's ones they're really expensive it, what the what the, at least three pound at least and then he gave me uh, a ham and cheese i had a choice i could have had um the or just a plain cheese one or a garlic bread thing and he said Whichever one you want, it's fine. I, I'm going, well, I, the cheese one then, uh, this one, the cheese and ham, I can add a little. So, frankly, I have three days worth of meals here that I don't have to buy. <laughs> I can do this with a salad. They really, they are really nice with a salad. Um, so, he give me food. So, <laughs> um, I just don't know what to say so um he's constantly saying to me um was your day all right uh, have you enjoyed yourself um you know and um, the attention on me was huge and i'm trying to 
give him attention back to go yeah you, don't worry you said you didn't talk much when we were walking i said no because i don't um we concentrate on walking we sit then we talk you know um and he's just going everything is all right isn't it um he's going i really have enjoyed today i go so have i i go and he's going um are, are you going to see me again and i'm going yes of course i am <laughs> you think i'm mad uh, and we haven't made a pacific day because he doesn't know yet um i don't know he has other things that he has to do i take it um but i said no let's try to make one during the weekday because then we could go to another restaurant that's in the center of uh, Irvin, and they do two meals for like 13 pound and i think you know by the time you get drinks um that's at least cheaper because i'm not kidding that the meal that he got for him and me that was 28 pound um because mine was like 14 pound and his um thingy mini mix grill thing was like 14 quid as well so um especially with an alcoholic drink mine was with a soft drink uh, and it was 14 pound um his kid he got his with an alcoholic drink so that his is dearer than so it was like 14 quid as well so um <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he bought me the dresses and the, the and so he spent a lot of money on me <laughs> which is immensely impressive i've never had that before um so yes um he constantly thanked me again for for getting his phone um he constantly kissed me and he squeezed my bum and he smacked my bum <laughs> and you ask would i see him again of course i would um um i'm just hoping that he's going to come back to me and say we can meet tuesday wednesday um because i need to rest tomorrow um i have lives to do on other things now which you'll see a video of soon i guess or you might have already seen it so um yeah our day went really well and to put this in perspective i met him at half past 12. when i left him it was after seven o'clock our date went on for six and a half hours so it wasn't a short time and then i had to drive back and then i've done these <laughs> these videos so um it was a six and a half hour date we had so um you can draw conclusions to to that on how we did it together but he said he was nervous and i didn't see that at all he was if he was nervous it didn't show and after he hugged me i wasn't nervous at all so i tried to make him more comfortable that he didn't need to worry about anything so we got on which is standard for me i don't know how anyone couldn't get on with me um but i look forward and hopefully we get another date because i don't have piles of time up here so every day that goes by is one less day um but i'm i am 99 percent sure that we'll get another date sometime within the next seven days <laughs> so with that thank you for watching i know this has been three episodes long to get this this is pretty long so with that bye <laughs> meow <laughs> next time.